this is the project we're going to do today. I am calling this one Desert Heron. And this is a scene that was created using making a scene stamps. And these are the stamps that were used in this particular scene. And so let's begin. Okay, I've pre-positioned all of the main stamps in my Stamping Up stamping platform and I've stamped everything on just a scrap piece of printer paper just to make sure that everything is positioned the way I want it to be. And so now I'm going to stamp onto a quarter sheet of Chrome Coat glossy cardstock and I'm using a Misty Creative Corner so that I can offset the page in the stamping platform and we will start by stamping our foreground items. Okay and next we will stamp the next item that's closest to us which is this little rocky bluff with the tree and we're going to want to mask our heron here Next we're going to stamp the crackly ground and I put a mask on the bluff and also on the fence. Now I'm going to take the acrylic plate and I am going to reposition it four slots down so that I can complete the crackly ground stamp. And I didn't realize I wasn't recording when I stamped those trees that are in the background. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Memento dual marker, my Tuxedo Black, and for these little ice flows here, where it didn't quite connect when I moved over the stamp, I'm just going to draw a line to make it look like it's connected and all cohesive. Now I'm going to give this ink a chance to dry before we start coloring it and we'll be back. Alright, we'll start by coloring in the sky and the water here. And I'm going to use some Alt New inks and I'm going to use the Sweet Dream set. We're going to use the Dew Drops, Aqualicious, and Teal Cave. And we'll start with the Dew Drops, which is the lightest color. And so I'm going to use a cloud stencil. And so I will add the color by adding as clouds. All right, and I'm also going to continue the ground on this side. Okay, now I'll add a few more clouds with the aqualicious color. Okay, and now we'll put on some teal cave. Okay, for the ground I'm going to use Altenu Coffee Break Set and we'll start with the sand dunes and the rocky shore and then determine from there if we want to go darker. Okay, next we'll do the rocky shore. Okay, next we'll do mocha. Uh, 
Okay, to color in the ground a little more, I'm going to use some Copic markers, E31, E34, and E37. And I'll start with the E37 and concentrate that in the very darkest areas. Okay, and to give the fence a weathered look, I'm going to use some B93. Okay, for the trees and the grasses, to go along with the parched drought type of theme, we're going to use Alcohol markers, these are Copic markers, YG91, YG95, and YG99. Okay, for shadows, I'm going to use C2 and C6. And when I use Copic markers on glossy cardstock, after I've finished applying them, I like to come back and just kind of buff it down a little bit. And I'm going to darken the shadows a bit more. And I'm going to use a white gel pen now to add some highlights. Okay, and I will use a thinner gel pen. Okay, I'm going to take this stamp and I'm going to use a Mari Le Plume 2. This is a water based marker. And I'm going to use number 27 olive brown. Okay, now I'm going to re-stamp the stamp using some Memento Tuxedo Black. Okay, and we'll use number the 27 marker again and stamp just some grasses on the other side here. And we'll take our Memento Tuxedo Black. Okay, and I want to ground the heron a little more, so I'm going to use the thin line of my black Marvy marker. Okay, if I, I'm afraid if I try and do any more to this, I'm going to screw it up. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and finish. So at this point, I'm going to sign and date it. And so now I am going to take it outside and spray it with some Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating. And when I'm finished, we'll be back. And here's the final result after it's been sprayed with the acrylic coating. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.